find it hard to stay with a guy who I don't respect. Christine Brown was recently interviewed by People Magazine revealing that Cody missing Isabel's scoliosis surgery was the final straw for her. I cannot tell you how refreshing it is that at least one of the wives are finally getting real about Cody's shitty parenting. Let's discuss. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Four years, for 16 seasons, well, maybe 15 and a half seasons, we have sat and watched while Mary, Janelle, Robin, and Christine have praised Cody as being this amazing father. Meanwhile, we're all sitting here going, what? The sister wife's acceptance of Cody doing not even the bare minimum as far as fatherhood goes has been really hard to watch. And it's been hard to watch because it's really been to their kids' detriment. I am so glad that as the kids get older, as they're getting married, as they're starting their own lives, they realize what they actually deserve out of a parental figure. And they aren't willing to take breadcrumbs of affection and attention anymore. And while marriages now are are falling apart, the division in the family is very apparent. Cody being a distant dad is nothing new. Remember when the anthropology students moved in and they had this observation? I noticed that he, he has a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Saul. Um, Cody does? Yeah, Cody has a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Saul. But I noticed he doesn't have as much one-on-one -on -one time with the older kids. He says, I have some kids that want a hug and a kiss and want to cuddle and talk and some kids that don't. And he says, I try to do that with them, but they don't respond all the time. So that's one of the things that I've noticed with him and his kids. I'm a little concerned by the conclusion that, that Antoinette's come to. And of course, Robin comes in hot with a ready-made excuse. It's because the kids don't want him around. That's why Cody's not around. When fast forward a few years in this last season, we see kid after kid cry in their interviews because Cody is not there when they need him. And take it from me. I mean, my parents will tell you, my husband will tell you, I am not a huge person on the touchy feelies, but that does not mean that I don't want the people I love around me. It's just, I don't need to be snuggled up next to you in order to appreciate your company. I don't know. That's just like the touchy feelies is just not my love language. And how interesting was it? that Robin comes back with, well, Saul just had surgery, so of course Cody is going to be spending a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him when I'm sure Isabel really wished Cody carried that same energy for her. It has always puzzled me why the wives, especially like Mary, Janelle, and Christine, go so hard at defending Cody as a dad and praising him when we all can see that that's just not the case. The kids will literally, during the course of the season, they'll make offhanded, maybe under their breath comments about what they really think of Cody. And then we'll cut to a interview where Janelle will be sitting there going, oh my God, my kids just love their dad. They have such a great relationship. And it's like, Huh? Cody and Christine have both admitted that they have struggled in their relationship for years. Funnily enough, I mean, to no one's surprise, the cracks started becoming majorly apparent when Robin entered the picture. And just like with Janelle, I always kind of felt that Christine was telling two different stories. On the one hand, Cody is this amazing dad, but then on the other hand, Cody's never there and Christine has a problem with how much time he is not spending at her house. This is actually incredibly common. I've noticed when watching Sister Wives, we will have contradicting accounts of the same thing that has happened. 
Someone could have gotten pregnant and had a baby in the time that we haven't seen dad. All of them are talking about how I've not been around all year long, and that's not true. I've been at these places like every month. I tend to believe that Cody is not around as much as he even thinks that he is. I get the feeling that he thinks maybe like a FaceTime call counts as him like coming over and actually being physically present. And look, you do not have to be in a romantic relationship in order to successfully co-parent. In fact, there are tons of single parents who successfully parent by themselves. But I actually think what Cody's doing is quite cruel. You're in these kids' lives just enough so that they will yearn for a father figure, but they'll never have a completely invested dad. Then they have to see the other siblings getting more favored. And how shitty that must feel to know that your dad's love and attention could be bought and sold based on the behavior of your mother. Watching this People magazine interview and reading the article, I cannot tell you how refreshing it is for Christine to just speak openly about how fed up she was with Cody's bullshit. I mean, for a while there, after she announced that she was divorcing Cody, she was still towing that party line of Cody's such a great dad, I love my family, and now it seems like she's getting more open and honest about the cracks in the relationship and how she really feels about Cody. So the final straw Christine says was when he said that he was not going to go to Isabel's surgery. Was there a final straw? Or um, mm. yeah. When Cody said that he wouldn't come to Isabel's surgery. I understood what he was saying about COVID, but it broke my little girl's heart. Isabel was heartbroken. She was absolutely devastated that Cody was not going to go but she did her best to put on a brave face. But Christine flat out says that she cannot be with someone that she doesn't respect. And I was like, ooh, yes. And I've said this before, relationships are not one size fits all. Different relationship dynamics work for different people and that is totally awesome. The thing is at the core of all intimate relationships, there has to be respect. What's very interesting to me in all of this and what I always keep going back to is how McKelty posted that Instagram post in June about how amazing Cody and Robin are, how much of a bond Avalon is making with Robin and her kids and Cody and just like absolutely gushing over Cody and Robin. I just have a very strong suspicion that this is going to be utilized as a plot line in season 17. Like there's going to be tension between like McKelty having to choose between Christine and Cody. Aside from that post praising him, Cody really does not seem to have a good relationship with any of his kids that don't live in Robin's house. I am very happy that Christine did not minimize Isabel's feelings about Cody missing her surgery. And I do feel like a fair amount of that has happened over the years. Kids not having their feelings of abandonment validated because the wives are also trying to vie for Cody's attention. It really just seems like Cody is coming undone. Polygamy well, at least this version of polygamy that the Browns have practiced. It's all about exalting the men. It's all about glorifying the husband. And I think Christine was very happy to live in that kind of relationship purgatory for a long time, but it's so nice to see that she is now denouncing polygamy. Something that I absolutely love is that Christine says that she is open to dating monogamously, like she will never be in another polygamous relationship, but that she is open to dating monogamously. And that, of course, comes with when truly is ready because she said that truly is just not ready at the moment and I am so happy that she is taking truly into consideration when thinking about bringing in a romantic partner into her life because we know Cody absolutely never did so I give Christine a good mom award there holy shit though can you imagine Cody receiving the news that Christine has 
a boyfriend or maybe a fiance, a husband one day, and that person getting introduced to his kids. I mean, it's going to be apocalyptic. I think season 17 is going to be absolutely explosive. I am loving how open Christine is being and, you know, how open she's allowed to be via, you know, TLC, all their NDAs and stuff. But I I feel like she disclosed quite a bit in this little um, short People magazine interview. And it is getting everyone. I know I'm getting super hyped for season 17. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.